Yo guys, Jaden's Render Reviews here. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to set up donations for your Twitch streams. Before the video starts, I'd like to mention that on this channel, I primarily stick to tech year reviews and tutorials, tutorials on Wednesdays, and tech year reviews on Saturdays. So if you guys are new here, consider subscribing. I'd also like to mention I stream on twitch.tv slash Jaden Coyer. Links down below in the video description below. If you have a question about anything I talk about in this video or just want to hang out and chat, feel free to click the link down below. And without further ado, let's get into the video. So the first thing you're going to want to do is open up Streamlabs OBS. Once you've done that, you're going to want to log into your Twitch account. Once you've logged in, you're going to want to go up to the search bar and type in donation settings. So in order to set up donation, you're going to want to connect one of these. So I personally am going to use PayPal. It's the most common way. So in order to connect this, all you got to do is click on it, click connect. It'll bring you to PayPal's website and you're going to want to sign into PayPal. If you don't have an account, you can just make one. It's super simple. Follow the simple steps and then you got to reopen Streamlabs OBS. I don't understand why it doesn't redirect you back, but just do the same thing that we did before. Log in, go back to donation settings. Once you've successfully connected your PayPal account and you'll see green letters to say connected. I'm not connecting mine because I already have it connected on my main account and this is my alt account. But now let's get into the settings part. So over here where it says method, there's settings. So if we click on settings, we're first going to make sure our currency is set properly and then the minimum amount of donation. So you can change this to whatever you'd like. You can also change the maximum message link. You can click this to make sure they log in. I personally keep this off. You can change the suggested amount, the tipping presets enabled. This just makes it so that there's like simple presets people can click on so your viewer doesn't have to type it in manually. It makes the process a little bit simpler. You can change what it's called like tip or custom. You can add button colors. You can add a leaderboard. You can add a profanity filter if you're using text to speech. And you can also take out custom bad words. You can type them in manually here. And once you've done that, you're just going to want to hit save settings. Once you've done customizing the settings to your own liking, you're going to want to come back to method. Once you've come up, you'll see something highlighted in yellow. This is your URL link. So all we got to do is copy this, hit control C. Now we're going to want to open up Twitch. So once we've opened up Twitch, you're going to want to head over to your channel and we're going to create a panel for donations. So as you can see, these are my current panels. And the beauty of what I'm going to show you is that a viewer can simply click on the panel and it brings them straight to your donation page. This is what yours should look like once you've customized everything to your own personal liking. So if we come back to Twitch, we can click on edit panels and we're going to want to create a new panel. So you can create a new panel, go to add text or image. And then you can name the panel. I personally don't do this. And you can add an image for your panel. I recommend doing this. I made a video on how to create custom Twitch panels. I will leave a link down below if you're looking to check that out. Now, the cool thing is right here is below that you'll see image to link. So once we've copied it, you're going to want to control what we did over here. This uh, clickable tipping link right here. We're going to put that in where it says link to right here. Once you've added an image, all you got to do is make sure you hit submit. Once it's submitted, you're going to come back here, click on, turn off the edit panels. And if we come down to here, you'll see our donations bar. And once you've done that, all you got to do is click on it and it'll bring you to your page that looks something like this. This is a great way for your viewers to access anything quicker with your panels. This works for not only just donations, but anything else you can link up to. Like if someone wanted to join my Discord, they could just click on it and it would give them the invite to my Discord. Or if they wanted to follow my Twitter, same thing applies. So I'm glad this works with donations. And I hope you found this video helpful. And if you did, don't forget to leave a like on the video and subscribe down below for more content like this. Always thanks for watching, guys. And there was a guy to my right. Dang, I was gonna be tied soon. Right there, right there. Oh! <laughs> Let's see this again. Dude, that was nice. That was you gotta clip that. Yeah, clip stream.